everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be checking out Android P Beta. So at Google's I.O. event the other day, they announced Android P Beta program where certain devices that supported it, about 11 at the time, could now download this. And this is a developer preview, kind of a, a beta. It's probably going to be another six months before the full software is released. But for developers, they can download it and kind of like make sure their app works properly. But for me, I can download it and I can show you guys some of the features that will probably be in the finished build. So yeah, let's check those out. So I'm going to show some b-roll of this because this is really dim and uh, hard to show properly here but I'll just kind of go over the different things. So before there was a little charging indicator next to this uh, thing that shows the time and yeah now it's just the time, it shows the date, it has this little bar if there's any notifications and if there are notifications they show up their little icons under the bar. And then also it will show you a battery percentage indicator at the bottom. It's really, really hard to show, but I'll show some B-roll and it'll also say if it's charging next to that. It'll show like rapidly charging, slowly charging. I'll, I'll show a shot of that too. So that's about it. And if you uh, go from here and you click the power button, that bar kind of expands into your notification and it'll show you your notification. Okay, so let's go from there into the home screen. So this is uh, not the default widget. This is uh, all another widget. So I'll probably like leave a link or something down below and I'll probably leave a link to this wallpaper. This is one of my favorite wallpapers. It's just kind of clean and modern and while I have a couple of live wallpapers, while I was testing this, I didn't want to kind of skew the battery results by having a live wallpaper running, so I've run this thing and I, I really enjoy it. So let's start with one of the most obvious features about this update, and that is the gesture-based system here, where you go into your app switcher from sliding up from here. Obviously, it's a setting. You can turn it on and off and there's buttons, but I would prefer to use the feature that they add. So. I'm showing you that and yeah from the home screen there is one glitch that really bothers me and that is if you swipe up for your app drawer you see here if you go into here you can access your app drawer and then go back to the switcher and you see if you access your app drawer if you just try to swipe up it looks really weird like your phone's having a seizure if you try to get to your app drawer which is kind of annoying obviously this is a like a six month early beta so that's probably gonna change before it enters into uh, like release. Anyway, this is different. It started out with the first betas of Android P as rounded, but people didn't like that, so now it's kind of flat, but all these are rounded and things just look kind of uh, cleaner more to uh, spec than before. The notifications expand out really cool. I don't have any right now, but I'll show you a little bit in the B-roll. And uh, yeah, you can also slide this to the side to switch from each app, which I, this is one of my favorite things. When you slide to the side there, it's kind of like a bar. So if I grab that, I can switch around in this, in these apps and it's actually really useful. I found myself getting used to just whenever I want to switch to another app, just slide around and there I go. I'm on the next app, which it's, uh, it's pretty nice. So then you have kind of like your volume, your new UI here. If you remember on the Oreo video I did, I showed off this uh, power button thing, which now also has a, a screenshot button, which is nice because I always used to go to Google Assistant for the screenshot, and uh, that's definitely better for something that can be mapped to hardware. 
and uh, yeah the volume is quite nice a uh, friend pointed out you can't put it to the left which I'm right-handed so doesn't bother me but it might bother someone who is left-handed and you can click here to go into more settings click here to just kind of no sound sound or vibrate and yeah and then you have your volume bar here obviously and I wanted to note real quick that whenever you're trying to pull up from here to get into your app switcher sometimes uh, I have the habit I've done it a few times especially when you first start you'll hold it down because you'll try to hold it and move it and then you'll have this and it I, yeah that's that's a little annoying anyway they also added a, a new feature it's kind of like Google Lens but uh, live translated obviously I can't show you right now I might show you a clip of b-roll but it doesn't really work for a lot of things like it doesn't identify everything perfectly obviously it's going to improve with time you see here I scanned a McDonald's cup and it said hmm waste container hmm advertising so I don't know who would want to know what a McDonald's cup is but if they did want to know what it is, then they, they couldn't. So from here, we can go into the settings and control our alarm volume, our ring volume, also vibrate for calls, change our ringtone, you know, gotta, gotta go fast. Okay, anyway. Okay, let's go into, back into the settings. And one of the things they stressed, or at least I heard them stress, was battery. So, yeah, battery has been pretty good over the last few days I've been using it. And they've shifted the clock to the other side up here, which is actually nice because it leaves room for an actual battery percentage. I remember I had to swipe down every time I wanted to see my actual battery percentage. And now I can just look up and see it, and it gives me kind of a... A more precise look now what I don't get is how they've hid the like battery usage up into this little subsection I looked for it at first I'm like what and it seems to be kind of messed up it doesn't doesn't seem to be very accurate and yeah it's just not as good as before so I see why they would want to make this look simpler for the average person but even if it's hidden in that category i would like it to be like accurate it feels kind of weird it said my usage was different times when i'm pretty sure it was longer and it didn't exactly tell you like an all day like screen on time number so yeah and another thing that annoys me is Recently, I discovered that whenever I went into my systems, I uh, became a developer with uh, clicking the thing. And I went into my developer options before. I before was able to turn on a setting that allowed me to take video in YouTube and expand it past this notch, which I actually, I like watching it. That's not that big of a cutout in the video. And I like watching it to the full screen. It's it's much more enjoyable to me. And now it's gone, which, yeah, that annoys me. I kind of liked it. So they're kind of taking a few things out. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. But overall, I, I like this update a lot. So if you want to install this update, then yeah, that's going to be maybe a little difficult. You can find it on Essentials website where you'll have to put in your uh, number for your phone and everything. I might be able to make a guide for it if enough people want it. If you really want me to make a guide for it, you can leave a comment in below. But it was really annoying for me. I would have had it like five days ago, except that it took me like five or six hours to get it working. I think it'd be a lot simpler if I explained it to somebody because I wasn't going off of any like real like tutorials were coming out as I was trying to figure it out and I was reading the tutorials like hours after they were published so that I could figure out what is the thing 
with it. Okay, so yes, it adds some extra functionality. It feels pretty smooth. Uh, some things you might want to note. So if I go back to over to this uh, Twitter over here, it yep, it took it away. If you see a keyboard pop up, then you switch over to another app. Kind of acts weird there, and if you go out like stays on the screen for a second I'd like it if it stayed with the window maybe minimized in the window not really sure I hear there was a way you could copy and paste text but apparently that's not working in this like version so not really sure also I had everything the way I wanted it with Nova Launcher you know I had apps tweaked I had their icons changed I had my icons in like color-coded order and then I updated and it does not work with uh, Nova Launcher right now or so far as I know any other launcher without at least looking like 7.1 or 8.1 and whenever I went into my app drawer with it it like made it to where there was like a big white bar so it's, it's kind of glitched uh, obviously this is developer preview so people can make apps like Nova Launcher work with it but that kind of annoys me and it kind of annoys me that the uh, kind of default launcher that comes with this thing is not very customizable so that's something to note also calendar no longer works and I think clock no longer does either because it kind of acts weird with the whatever they added in the updates and I think that's just about all added in Android P. So you have your volume, you have your little bit different looking UI, you have your gesture based system, which is actually quite useful. You can switch around through apps here. You've got some new Google Lens implementation. Uh, here there's a smarter adaptive brightness, but I like setting my own brightness. I don't know. It gives you some like AI, like apparently, like it suggests things that you're going to do next. So I didn't see that happen for me, but uh, it showed an example with like Spotify and stuff and I don't use Spotify. So, so I'd like to conclude with, they might add a lot more, they might tweak a lot of this, but so far I like some of the changes they're making. This is better than 8.1 and the, so far as glitches go, I think I'm going to leave this on my phone. I think I'm going to go with uh, 9.0 for a while and if you guys want me to do kind of like an install tutorial let me know in the comments below also you might see in some of the b-roll there was a notification I hit 100 subscribers so I think I'm going to do a video about that maybe a giveaway if you want to like make a suggestion for what I might give away you can leave a comment something small that isn't too expensive because I'm a small channel and I don't know how much shipping costs so you can let me know uh, if I see something that I'm like yes that would be a good giveaway item something people would use and wouldn't cost too much to ship then I might go with your suggestion and yeah stay tuned uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this and thank you for watching